Everybody talks a big game when it comes to steak. Steak is not that hard. You put a little oil on it, get your pan scorching hot, cook it up. It's really that simple. So I will put my steaks up against anybody's steak. And if you want to challenge me, comment below and tell me, and we can have a cook off. Make sure your steaks are at room temperature. Leave them out for about an hour. Yeah, an hour. They're not gonna go bad in an hour's time, but you want them room temperature so they cook a little bit even, a little bit better on the grill. You wanna take some nice olive oil, just a little bit on there. If it comes out, boop, 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 boop. Just a little bit. And that is just to really get the, the seasoning to stick. And on the subject of seasoning, salt and pepper. Now I got this salt and pepper. It's flaky salt and pepper, all right? It's a little mixture that I got. All right, so we're gonna liberally coat all the sides, all the sides. Do you hear me? I'm gonna say it again. Coat all the sides of your steaks, every side. Front, back, left, right, your left, your left. All right, once your steaks are coated, mop up all that, as Gordon Ramsay would say, mop up all that seasoning. Salt, pepper, and garlic powder. It's all steak needs. That's it. Okay? Now, your steaks are all seasoned up. Let's get them on the hot grill. You want this bitch hot. See right here? See what I got going on right here? See this? Scorching. Over 450 degrees. You can see the smoke coming off of it. To it, you're going to add a little frying oil. Then down goes your steak. And that's what you want to hear. That seasoning. That sizzling. Hear that sizzling? All right, we're gonna sizzle that for a couple minutes on each side. Don't mess with them, just leave them. Let them sit, let them cook. See that right there? That's a perfect start. Oh, and in case I haven't said it, these are filet mignon. Some of the best cut of meat out there. Then I'll screw it up. Ooh, I'm gonna get all sides. Once you got your meat color, drop in some butter, a couple of sprigs of rosemary. Put those rosemary sprigs right on top of the meat. And then just baste it. Here's the temperature you're looking for. Oh, come on, rise, rise, about 120. We got one, oh, 130. This one's a little smaller, so it's already over that. But I can tell they're cooked perfectly. All right, time to pull them off. And then the probably the most important thing about cooking a perfect steak is letting it rest. This is gonna sit on the counter for about five, 10 minutes. All the juices are gonna run back inside and it's gonna be perfect. Also, it's gonna continue cooking. The anticipation's killing me! But I think it's time, they've rested long enough. Let's slice them open. And let's see what the inside looks like. They should be medium rare. All right. Ready? Against the grain. Look at that. Woo wee! That's nice. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, so tender. Mm, look how it pulls apart. Mm. Mm. I'll put my steak up against anybody's. Comment below. I'll, I'll accept anybody's challenge. So now I'm going to plate this up and I'm going to have a little dinner. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next time, next video.